Joining us now is Oji Okpe with stories trending around the world. Hey, Oji, how I've missed morning, you. Leila. I've missed you so <laughs> much. I know. Hi, Hi Dr. Fati. How are you guys? Good oh, to have you back. Thank you. Yes. I've missed you. I was hibernating. Really. Yes. It wasn't easy, was it? It wasn't I told easy doctor, I said quarantine after day three was like prison. I'm telling honestly. you. Now I feel bad for people that are in prison, really. Yeah. It's yes, tough. Yes, it is a hard time. It's good time. to have you guys back. Thank you, Dr. Fati. So, We've you... been watching you. Yes. You've been killing it, really. <laughs> Well. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, job. what do you have for us? I'll tell you in a bit. <laughs> well, good morning to you viewers. We begin what's trending today in Nigeria. The news that Shei Makinde, the Oyo State Governor, tested positive for COVID-19 on Monday, has made the rounds on social media, and users on Twitter have shared their candid opinion. Two weeks ago, the governor was severely criticized over a political mega rally that was held in Ibadan, the Oyo capital, in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak in Nigeria. He is now the third governor in the country to test positive for the virus. In a series of tweets on Monday, Governor Makinde disclosed his status. His first tweet read, I just received my COVID-19 confirmation test result. It is positive. I am asymptomatic and will continue to self-isolate. In another tweet, he wrote, I have designated Professor Temi Tokwe Alonge, former chief medical director of the University College Ibadan, as the head of COVID-19 task force while I recover fully. Please continue to comply with all directive from the COVID-19 task force. Stay home, stay safe. In response, a Dr. Fisayo wrote, that Governor Shei Makinde tested positive to COVID-19 is a really sorry development. Thousands of PDP supporters who had contact with him during the rally won't sleep well tonight and for the next few days. Regardless of how many of them eventually test positive, this was totally avoidable. Another user, Kevin, posted a video from the political mega rally with the caption, in this video, Shei Makinde is seen making mockery of coronavirus. He knew it was serious, but he never cared. But oh well. Well, let's take a quick listen. What an honest, what, what a shame, you know, Boris Johnson first with his whole, I mean, I'm still shaking hands, blah, 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 and now Governor Shea Mackinde, unfortunately, I mean, it will always come to bite you back when you do make a mockery of something serious. You're absolutely right. Well, Later he was speaking I, Yoruba, could yes, you please yes. translate that? I may that attempt video. a translation of what mm -hmm. he was saying. Mm -hmm. It was uh, objecting to the fact that persons protested that that particular rally by the People's Democratic Party uh, should not have been held in the battle. You recall that at because the time, a lot of people protested that, look, coronavirus is spreading, mm -hmm. and then you are having a rally mm -hmm. where there's uh, such a mass massive crowd and there's no social distancing. Mm -hmm. yes. And he was saying, well, uh, there is no, no coronavirus coronavirus. in the People's Democratic Party. That the other party, which he did not name, that after all it was their own leader who announced that uh, there is coronavirus Goodness. in their own party. But I think the point needs to be made, and Shei Makinde himself uh, must have realized it, that coronavirus does not mm -hmm. wear party colors. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a, mm -hmm. it doesn't have geographical boundaries. It doesn't differentiate between the young and the old. Yeah. It doesn't differentiate between north and south. It doesn't differentiate between rich and poor. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a pandemic. It's something no you know, uh, that affects everybody, and it doesn't respect status or wealth or okay. geography. Right. Versus umbrella. Right. So, but, uh, you know, we sympathize with him. We do. And we really uh, do. he says he's asymptomatic. Yeah. And we hope that now that he's self-isolating, he will take the uh, necessary treatment. Mm -hmm. And all the persons who may have had contact with him, who may be part of the 6,000 persons, uh, that the uh, National Center for Disease Control is trying to trace. We also take necessary precautions so that we don't end up with an explosion mm -hmm. in Nigeria, because that's the biggest fear. We've gone from prevention uh, to containment. Yeah. Uh, the next stage may be acceleration and uh, explosion, yeah. which right. may stretch the capacity of the state. 
to be able to ensure public health security. You're absolutely right. You know, another response from the Shei Mackin Day trend making rounds on Twitter were photos of the governor with Afrobeat singer Davido, who recently announced that his fiance tested positive for COVID-19. Posting the photo, one user, Engineer Jethro, wrote, This picture was taken five days ago. Now Shei Mackin Day tests positive. This means he got the virus from Davido. So how is Davido? Negative. Another user, Ocon, wrote, Davido has met with Governor Shei Makinde and, of course, his fiancée, Choma, in the last 7 to 14 days. If he isn't infected with coronavirus, he is the antidote. He automatically becomes the answer to the problem to the world's problem. Well, you know, it's, it's really interesting yeah. to see because I recall when David Doe made his trip to Ibadan, he visited the golf club, he went to a couple bars, he shook hands with the governor, and people were talking about the fact that should this be happening during coronavirus? But Correct. of course, things still went on, and this is the situation that we're in now. And this is why it's so important for nobody to think that they're above public policy, health, and guidelines. Right. They exist for all of us to follow, and nobody is left out of that, you know? I mean, then again, I mean, I'm not one of those questioning David Doe's status. If he's negative, he's negative. Not just not everyone that's been in contact with someone is immediately positive. Right. But I do hope he takes his 14-day self-isolation seriously Very now. Very seriously. Because he didn't before. One mm -hmm. of his artists also had their birthday, Five days before his fiance tested positive for coronavirus, everyone that was there within that setting should also take it seriously as well. I mean, we're all living and learning. This is a unique situation to all of us, so I don't think it's time to blame people or say you should have done this better. But really and truly, there are things like this that could have been avoided. Yes. Yeah, so well, one of I the fallouts of the uh, coronavirus pandemic is that we've all become doctors. <laughs> We've all become coronavirus <laughs> intellectuals. For all the WHO. <laughs> <laughs> and we are, are overanalyzing it. Mm -hmm. right. really, that's our own uh, you know, mental way of responding mm -hmm. to the crisis. But in the case of Davido, Davido reported that he and uh, 31 others uh, tried to take the test. At the end of the day, it's uh, Chef Shuma, mm -hmm. his fiancée, uh, that tested uh, Positive, positive, yeah. And the point has been made by Leila that it's not automatic that if you are in contact with a person uh, who has coronavirus, you automatically take yeah. it, depending yes. on the uh, quality, the strength of your immune system. Right. And but there's also um, information the out there about immunity for this whole virus as well, which people are considering around the world, whether you are immune, they might be able to let you out and work. You could also continue to work. So that's Actually, another help create take, a vaccine. Yes. Yeah, and help create a vaccine system as well. Whether is strong or not, mm -hmm. the basic thing to do is to just take precautions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And follow the health advice. Mm -hmm. Correct. Isolate. Just, people should just stay at home yeah. for this period. I know it's tough, but... You know, I don't think anybody would yeah. die. After all, you self-isolated. I did for two weeks <laughs> and you're straight. Looking good, and you're uh, back after two weeks. <laughs> I feel well rested. I, I put makeup I on for the first time this morning. I said, "Wow, my my skin feels so." I fresh. know, I know, I do. I do feel great. I mean, it, it's fantastic to be able to uh, stay home and reflect. And I think this yeah. is a time for everyone to be able to do that as well. Mm -hmm. I started writing as well, so I Me think that too. it's a great thing for everyone. <laughs> well, let's take one final story. Still in Nigeria, I mean, the enforced lockdown in some states in the country due to the. COVID-19 pandemic, some Nigerians have taken to social media to urge telecom companies and internet service providers to cut down data prices. The lockdown, which is already in effect as of today, is expected to last for 14 days in Nigeria's capital, Abuja, Lagos and Ogun State. The financial uncertainty and mental anxiety have triggered some to argue that in countries like the U.S. and the U.K., Telecom companies have offered free internet services to customers during their lockdown using the hashtag cut data pricing. They urge Nigerian telecom companies to do the same. We don't have much. We don't have time to take a lot of tweets. Maybe we could just take one. One user, Aura, wrote, I strongly advocate for a slash in data pricing. It, in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, everyone is home due to the lockdown. We need to regularly inform, we need to be regularly informed about latest news. We need to be online. We need all the telecom companies in Nigeria to hashtag cut data prices. And people Do are it for from humanity. Home. That's the idea. Well, people are working from home. Socially responsible yes. yeah. at this time. Yes. And there should be no opportunism. Right. And I think that the Consumer Protection Agency of yes. Nigeria uh, also has a role to play. And the NCC as well. I've seen a lot of opportunism. Yes. You know, the telcos can help.
by making a contribution. Yes. Because now we all depend on our phones, mm -hmm. on data, and all of that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you, Dr. Abaji. I will see have you, you back. Thank you. I'll see you for <laughs> sure tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely see you tomorrow. <laughs>